Today we will be finding the surface area of this compound shape. Uh, what we have here is a hemisphere on top of a cone. So in order to find the surface area of this entire shape, what we need to do, um, total surface area. is find the surface area of the hemisphere. Plus the surface area of the cone. And then we're going to subtract the overlap. So if you remember from the previous example, a hemisphere is half of a sphere. So you can take a sphere oops, <laughs> find the surface area of a sphere, divide it by two, and then you'll have the surface area of that hemisphere. Um, so that's exactly what we're going to do. The surface area of a sphere is four times pi times r squared. But if we only need a hemisphere, we're going to divide it by 2. Um, in this example, the radius is 10. So I'm going to go ahead and write that down and then plug it in. Surface area is 4 times pi times 10 squared divided by 2. And 10 squared is 100. So we're going to divide this by 2. 4 times pi times 100 is 1,256.64. And remember, we still have to divide that by 2. And when we do that, we end up with the surface area of the sphere, or the hemisphere, I'm sorry, the hemisphere, being 628.32 yards squared. So that's the first piece, it's the hemisphere. Next, what we're gonna do is find the surface area of the cone uh, by using the formula um, surface area equals a plus pi times r times l. Now, if you uh, remember, um, l is the slant height, which means it's the length of this slanted piece. Okay, so it's not 15, it's on the outside. Um, so what we need to do is find L by using what we have. I know that from the circle to the point is 15 yards. And I know that the radius is 10. So R equals 10. H equals 15. We don't know what L is. So what I'm going to do is since this makes a triangle, I can use the Pythagorean theorem which is r squared plus h squared equals l squared and plug in my values and I can find l. I know that r is 10 so 10 squared plus 15 squared equals l squared. 10 squared is 100, 15 squared is 225 and if I add those together I get 325. So now to get rid of this square root, I'm going to have to square root both sides. And the square root of 325 is 18.03. That's going to be L. So again, to find the surface area, I need L, which I just found. 
I need R, which I already said was 10. And so the last thing I need is A. When it talks about A for the cone, it's talking about the area of its base. The base is a circle, and to find the area of a circle, I use pi r squared. I already said that r is 10, so I'm going to plug that in. And 10 squared is 100. So that's going to be 314.16. So now I have everything that I need in order to find the surface area of that cone. Uh, I'm going to plug everything into the formula. Okay. A we just found is 314.16 plus pi times the radius of 10 and L is 18.03. So the surface area of that cone is going to be 880.58 yards squared. So I have two out of the three things I need. I have the surface area of the hemisphere, the surface area of the cone. I still need to find the overlap. So to find overlap, I need to look at where these two shapes meet and what shape they create. You see this uh, circle here is not getting counted as the surface area because it's inside in between these two shapes. So I'm not going to count that in the surface area. There's only one circle, so that's all I need to get rid of. Um, to find the area of overlap, I look at the shape, the shape's a circle, and area of a circle is pi times radius squared. I know that the radius is 10. So the area is pi times 10 squared. So this is gonna be the overlap. So then what I'm gonna do is put it all together. I have the total surface area. And again, this is the hemisphere. plus the cone, minus the overlap. Hemisphere is 628.32. We're adding that to the cone, which is 880.58. And then we're subtracting the overlap, which is 314.16. And again, I would add before I subtract it. So the total surface area is going to be 1,194.74 yards squared.